If you're reading this, you either had the good sense to open this letter yourself, or someone else noticed you are cracking and is currently making you read it. Hi. It seems you are currently broken. That's okay. We've been here before. We've gotten through this before. I know your mind is clenched and raw and sore. I know you got struck by an uninvited tidal wave of intense emotion and you are drowning in it right now. I know you are feeling lost and lonely and hopeless and you are terrified and don't see a way out. You can't see anything, really. You can't see the next 10 minutes, let alone tomorrow. You can't see yourself and you can't see others clearly either. I know you hate this. I know you just wanted to stop, but it's not that easy. Your mind is a frantic mess of fear and pain and it takes some time and some work to calm it down and even more to let it heal. I know you feel embarrassed and humiliated. I know you wish you were a better human. I know you feel unremarkable and insufficient. I know you feel small and useless. I still don't know how to fix that. What I do know is that the world cannot make you happy right now. So first off, please let everyone around you off the hook. I know you feel like everyone has abandoned you because no one is here perfectly understanding the firestorm that is happening in your head. And at the same time, you feel awful for not functioning, for being frantic, demanding, and all around insufferable right now. And you have the intense urge to apologize to everyone a hundred times. Don't. <laughs> Stop. You need to calm down and de-escalate before you can do anything else. So shut up. Remove yourself. Go read this here thing. Watch an episode of The West Wing or something. Take a nap. Retrieve yourself. And then bake a cake for whomever you cracked on, or in front of, or around, or all over. That's probably a good rule for now. Don't apologize. Bake a cake. Which brings me to the next thing. Yes, you are being insufferable right now. But normally, you actually are a pretty cool person to have around. You care fiercely. You love deeply. You are pretty damn funny, and at times even adorable. And you are smart and weird and, and that interesting and somehow inspiring. This feels pretentious and false even while I'm typing it. But please just don't go by what it feels like right now. Go by empirical evidence. People have told you these things. People have told you these things without having any reason to make them up or lie or exaggerate. You definitely aren't the most cheerful, lighthearted, cool person to be around at all times. So the fact that people do stick around is a pretty good indicator that all in all, they really do like you a lot. And you don't keep dumb people around, so believe them and stop asking for confirmation. Speaking of cheerful, lighthearted, cool person, you don't like yourself right now. And you are the least likable version of yourself when you don't like yourself. So here's what you do. Forgive yourself. Yeah, you are being pretty awful right now, but if someone you love would be losing it on you, you would climb up on them, whole body hug them and tell them that they are amazing and that you love them and that it's okay to break sometimes because smart, sensitive people suffer very deeply and that's good, but sometimes it's awful. You need to be as kind to yourself as you would be to others, so do this to yourself, sort of. Well, here. You are okay. You are highly sensitive, you are quite intelligent, and you have a broken brain. You get to crack every now and again. You cannot be on top of it at all times. You get to be weak, and you get to be sad. Everything you feel is valid, not because what you feel is actually the truth. In fact, what you feel right now has nothing to do with the truth. What you feel right now has everything to do with fear and doubt and worry. You can't switch that off. But also don't indulge it. Depression lies. Your vision is flawed. And I know you think you, that you see clearly now and feel like you are dazed and muddled when you actually have hope and can function. And maybe you're right. But then the dazed and muddled is preferable to being clear, so look for that. You are passionate and loving and intense. You are weird and sweet and lovable. You have a tortured soul, but you also carry a blazing hot fire of goodness inside you. You are much stronger than you think. You are much stronger than anyone knows. But right now, right here, you get to be weak and sad and lost. I forgive you. And I love you anyway and because of it. Now take a break. Distract yourself with a movie or whatever. Your mind can't heal if you keep poking it with a stick. And then this. You want to be better and you don't know how to get there. 
Waiting for better doesn't work. Fighting for it does. So move. Dance. Work out. Go for a walk. Contact someone and tell them they are great. Write. Paint. Sing. Plant things. Read. Look up interesting places to go and go there. Go to a bookstore and recommend books to strangers. Learn how to fold origami elephants. Make a bunch of them and leave them all over the city. Learn three new words. Wear a hat. Make some tea. Find that one song that you want to listen to right now. Reorganize your bookshelf, your underwear drawer, your to-do list. Plan an adventure. Invite someone along. Make more tea. Turn the music dan louder. Dance some more. You can do this. You will do this. Not because you don't have a choice, but because holy damn you got some work to do to fix this place. This is not a hopeless dungeon. This is your broken but pretty awesome mind in need of a good spring cleaning and some fresh air. And you are, still and always, here to survive and grow and excel and amaze the shit out of everyone and everything, and mostly out of yourself. <laughs>